Okay, Dad has his coffee, I have my tea. David and all of the girls are still sleeping. So let's go around and walk around the Caribbean beach just a little bit. That microphone could pick up quite a bit. I'm, I'm surprised, can you hear anything? Very, very quiet construction. Good planning, Disney. Now, believe it or not, today is actually our last full day at Walt Disney World. And, you know, we haven't gone to the parks and none of us felt like we missed anything. We've been so busy, you know, resort hopping, Disney Springs, you know, we really saw a lot of magic on this trip. The only complaint we have, and I'm sure we will have as we continue going forward, it's already too short, we can tell. Already too short, not enough time. We'll know that for the future, we know for the future, that's okay. But we have a cruise coming up tomorrow, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now you might be asking yourself, Michael, with everyone still asleep, what are you doing up? Well, you know me, when I'm at Disney, I'm too excited to sleep. Now when everyone gets up, we're gonna head to the Wilderness Lodge and a very special breakfast. There's supposed to be a really good, like, counter service breakfast at Wilderness Lodge. We wanna try together. They have some items on the menu that a lot of my family are really excited about. Just look at this bright and early in the morning, no one here. That's one thing I would've liked, is to have some of those iced teas right at this main building, that would've been great. But unfortunately, they don't have those, so I'm headed back toward our room, maybe get something from the drink dispenser. They have one of those Coca-Cola mix dispensers where you kind of like choose your flavor and you can choose like different styles like orange Coke or like Dasani water with raspberries. So there's a lot of different options. I love those Coke dispensers and I wish they were at every resort like right by your room. It would make things so much easier and more convenient. Now several of my friends have asked me, Michael, do you plan ahead exactly what you're going to video in every single adventure? No, I don't. I just, ha you know, it, I have the magical experience as I happen and I bring you along with me. It's a lot more fun that way. And at my grandmother's request, I actually requested an Uber for her. She prefers that method of travel, so we're gonna respect her preference and head that way for today. And Andreas is four minutes away. Mom, you're looking forward to a breakfast at Geyser Point this morning. I am. I'm hungry, ready to go, ready to see what they have available. It's gonna be delicious. Here comes our Uber, Andreas and the Nissan Armada. Cozy. Yeah. <laughs> David, tell me, would you buy the Nissan Armada uh, if you had to choose a new car? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, a little cramp back here. Great resort. Amazing. You gotta come here more often. Michelle and David, what do you think of Wilderness Lodge? Very nice. It's cool. Pretty cool? I like it. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. We're looking at hats and shirts and all sorts of cool merchandise. Look at these new arrivals with Smokey the Bear. Look, there's Smokey right there. Only you can prevent forest fires. Love the level of detail in the deluxe resorts. Even the fireplace here is so well themed. Look at the mirror over here with the bears. This is, that's just too cool. Da, 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 da. Now, Mom was the one who wanted to try Geyser Point this morning, so it'll be fun, because I haven't tried Geyser Point, I don't think, ever. So another great new experience for all of us. We're all taking it all in. You can see everybody is really amazed with the beauty of Wilderness Lodge. Even without the parks, there's too many things to do. <laughs> That's amazing. It's funny how this water just runs right from here, right into the lake right there. And we're all hungry, getting ready for breakfast. Okay, I think we're ready for our orders. We've got a lot of the... Uh, Everything Bialis with the smoked salmon. We've also got one, my dad's getting the pancakes, so let's get them. We decided to move to the outdoor seating and I can see why. So we ordered our food and then we got one of these uh, number cards here and they're gonna bring it to us. I have to tell you, this is super relaxing to sit out here at Geyser Point. Just, you know, we're just sitting back and enjoying ourselves. You can see everybody's having a good time here. Just hanging out, waiting for our food to arrive. It's gonna be delicious. Here is the everything smoked salmon Bialy. You can see it is really well presented. It looks delicious, smells delicious. Can't wait to try it. Okay, let's give it a try together. That is delicious. Wow, absolutely delicious. Love it. Love smoked salmon in the morning, so it's perfect. It's delicious. I, like was, it. I figured it would be too healthy for me, but it's actually delicious. I'm so glad. Mom, how's yours? I'm so glad to hear it. And you can't beat the view. I've got to say, Geyser Point is turning out to be one of my favorite spots for breakfast outside of the parks. It's amazing. This this place, it's relaxing. It's calm. The food is amazing. You got a refill station right here. I mean, really, really good. I think the consensus is we all we all loved Geyser Point. It was it's one of the best I've ever had. It's amazing. Really, really incredible. Absolute fantastic spot. Great food. Great view. Couldn't couldn't ask for a better start to the day. When you try it, I'll determine whether 
I'm good. Acai, blueberry, pomegranate, vitamin water, fantastic. I mean, really, really good. Overall, an extremely good breakfast at Geyser Point. We're just taking some pictures right now with some of these cool buffalo and uh, different topiaries. We're gonna make our way to the boats to go to the probably contemporary, explore a little bit, and then make our way to Disney Springs. We just noticed something. If you look on the ground here, there are these hoof marks all around in, in, the, uh, in the actual concrete here, and they go all the way until you see they, they stop and go in there. That's, that's where the buffalo is. One of your new favorites? Absolute, oh my absolute favorite. That Great was deal too, the pricing was, it was, was very really good. good. Excellent quality. Yeah, and the service was also really good. View Great service, everything about it, spectacular. And the skies are not cloudy all day. Everyone is so impressed by the quality of Wilderness Lodge. I think this might be a future one for us to try together. Have you seen how these trees just are growing right in the middle of the walkway here and they go all the way up there. Those are some high trees. We have an absolutely beautiful day for the sun is shining. There are very few clouds in the sky. It's not too hot. It's not muggy at all. Really, really incredible. Now we're waiting for a boat to go to the Contemporary Resort. That's going to the Magic Kingdom. We're going to the Contemporary, do a little bit more resort hopping, and then we're headed to Disney Springs. And off we go to the Contemporary Resort. And you can see the guys are going off right there. We're just experiencing the magic here, just traveling. Would a bus be quicker? Maybe, but we really want to be on the boat together. Experience it a little bit. That's definitely Discovery Island and River Country right in there. Since abandoned, but you never know what Disney has up their sleeves for the future. You have the backside of water, well I have the backside of the contemporary. They do have the pool cues here, so you can actually just play pool right there. You can see Michelle and David playing ping pong here. Oh, it's a bubble blower. Cool. This is especially soft. I don't know if, it, when you're at Disney, get, like feel this one, it's like especially soft. This is new, there's a seating area on this side of the uh, Fantasia store, on the fourth floor of the Contemporary, look at these. These chairs were definitely not here the last time I was here. This is, this is a great place to sit back and relax. I would put this in my mouth for the effect of a pirate, but uh, we'll just count that. I don't think I've seen the inside out Magic Band, that's pretty cool. I can't even imagine how many Magic Bands they have. They must have thousands at this point. Still love my, uh, July 4th American flag one. That's I love this one. Ah, that's a familiar face right there. Now I have a small feeling like in the pit of my stomach like, wait, I should be going somewhere fast. Like we shouldn't just be sitting around. We gotta go, go, go. But I come back down again. I was like, you know what? No, this is magical just to be here. I see a shirt that I've been seeing um, a couple places and I think I might just need to buy it for $85. I will admire it from here. $85? I've been told that that's pretty normal. Hmm. And I'll probably uh, save that for something else. I was just saying how there should be a clearance on the Halloween themed cupcakes. I mean, it's no longer Halloween, so, you know. Will this Mickey hat fit me this year? Let's find out. It, it's, it's really tight, it's really tight, but it's close. It's really, it's, it's kind of tight, it's like squishing my head a little bit. Bye, Michelle. Bye. Bye. Michelle's gonna do some studying for a test she has at school. She's gonna do it at the beach of the Polynesian. First, she's gonna go in there, do some shopping. We'll catch up with her later. Michelle is gonna be sad she missed this bus. Love the theming on that bus. It's hard to imagine tomorrow we're getting on a cruise ship. Tomorrow. None of us can really believe it's actually happening. This is the first time for any of us. We've been waiting at this bus stop for about 40 minutes now, so come on Disney, let's get to it. One thing my brother mentioned that he missed a lot with the colors on Planet Hollywood, and I do too. You know, it used to be like kind of that blue with the stars on it. I thought it looked great, and now it's kind of gray. And I, I agree, I prefer the stars, but I have to imagine they changed it because the upkeep must have been a lot. You have to repaint it, you get sun, you know, worn out, so this is probably just to make things easier for them. I like your hat a lot. Mom gave it to you for your birthday. It looks great. You excited for the cruise? Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Dave and I are gonna take a look inside for just a minute. Isn't that cool? No, it just, it kind of like reintroduces it. They should switch them around, they should turn them. That'd be cool. Really amazing the level of detail in R2-D2. Love it. We're just taking it all in here, looking at the Italian stallion, Rocky Balboa's uh, suit right there, the robe right there. Steve Carey's The Riddler, very cool. David, what do you think of the new Planet Hollywood? Uh, I think it's nice, uh, but definitely lost some of the uh, feel, the lighting as well, as some of the different costumes they have available now. We'll have to try it sometime, but I couldn't agree more with uh, the general atmosphere. Now this is a cool mug. This, that's, 
<laughs> that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty cool, right? It's it's awesome. I love it. I love it. I have some amazing mugs though, so this is cool, but I love the mugs I have from at home sent by you, so thank you again. You really could not ask for a nicer day. Okay, we are headed this direction to try and find a shoe store that my grandmother and brother are really interested in going to, and then we're actually going to head back and get a Giardelli, probably ice cream for everybody. It's going to be delicious. One day, I'm going to bowl at Disney. One day I will. Uh, this is very difficult for me to see. Where there used to be Disney Quest, there's now a blank empty area. David, I'm sorry. That's wow. where uh, a large building that you and I love. For, I know, I know. We, we miss it. A store called Fit to Run. They have all sorts of uh, running attire along with special running shoes. Okay, now David's getting a foot analysis here where they're gonna measure how much of his weight he's balancing on each foot. They're given a, an idea of how he can move and walk better or maybe look for the right shoes. Clearly this is not my average Disney trip, but it's still kind of exciting to see how David gets shoes and get that whole evaluation here. It's all in one place. NBA experience coming summer 2019. There are things to look forward to with this. It's going to be something new, something exciting. I'm sure Disney's going to make it great. You can still hear the construction back there of them uh, demolishing Disney Quest. I will miss it, and so will my entire family. I think that's pronounced Halo. Halo, Spain all the way coming 2018. Should be exciting. There's Paddlefish right there. My family and I were talking about possibly eating there. But we love Geyser Point so much, we're now debating if we want to go back again for dinner. Maybe that'll happen, you never know. Star Wars Trading Post. I don't think I've been in here yet. Looks like they've got a lot of the same merchandise you can find in some of the parks and around some of the shops, but it's all in one place, so it makes it convenient to find that Star Wars merchandise you're looking for. Luckily, I'm at Disney, so calories don't count. Look at these, oh my gosh. The Golden Gate, Banana Split, Ocean Beach, Chrissy Field, Strike It Rich. I love the Espresso Escape, which is really good. They've got a few new ones in here. Like this Raspberry Sorbet Sunday. Look really, really good. It's a tough choice. It's a really, it's a really tough choice. Can you smell it? You can smell it already. Oh, I, I can yeah. smell it. One banana split. The Sea Salt Caramel Quake Shake. A large one, please. Appreciate it. Peppermint bar. Yum. One of my favorites, and you can already hear the Christmas music in the air. Oh, fantastic. I love all Giardelli chocolate, but peppermint bark was just fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mom and Granny are splitting the banana split right there. Dad has the thick vanilla shake. David has the chocolate malt, and I have the sea salt caramel uh, quake shake. Sea salt caramel quake. Delicious option of Giardelli. Everyone is super happy with their Giardelli treat. What happened to you? David, you want some Starbucks? Oh, yeah. What do you want? Venti ice water, no whip. Venti ice water, no whip. Sounds good to me. You know, one thing I kept thinking about, if I lived here in Florida, I'd have to drive everywhere. Part of the reason why I, I think I love it so much is I like driving, I really do. But when I'm at Disney, I have the convenience of Disney transportation. So having to park and then walk and all that, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, there you go. I could not find Layla, the fragrance of Norway, anywhere here at Disney Springs. Yeah, clearly, Disney got to put more of that fragrance of Norway in Disney Springs so people can buy it outside of Epcot. Coming soon, Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill next to the Coca-Cola store. Yeah. David, this cruise is tomorrow and Ragnarok, Thor Ragnarok comes out tomorrow, day of our cruise. Are you planning on seeing it on the ship? Oh yeah. You do want to see it? Yeah. You do want to see it, okay. So maybe, hopefully, we'll all make time to see it, but if not, I know David and Michelle will very likely see it on the cruise ship. Now, one thing I think has been confirmed that I've heard about before, these buses to and from Wilderness Lodge take a long time. They take a long, long time. At least that's been my today experience. Come on, K family. Come on down. The pace of this trip is definitely much slower than most. Yes. We're just sitting back, talking, relaxing. And we you know, haven't ordered anything yet. We will be ordering food in just a few minutes here, but we're just relaxing. And it's the type of trip that I'm, I'm not used to, so it really does feel like vacation. I'm not saying that our trips together are not vacations, but it's a different style. So I, I love the different style. And with family, it's different. And then us just together, that's different. So it's, it's just, it's different. No less magical, though. This looks like some amazing items. Lump crab cake sandwich. Sandwich, turkey, smoked turkey sandwich, crispy chicken sandwich, classic bacon cheeseburger, and bison cheeseburger. Wow. Fries on both. Fries on both, okay. And are we gonna third, go ahead, please. Are we settling in here or taking these on our We are settling in here. Okay. okay, we've got our order placed, and of course, I'm number 23, of course I'm number 23. And then we're gonna put it on the table and they'll bring it to us. So now we're all just sitting down, talking about the cruise, different preparations we have to have, remembering our things to carry around our neck for the cards, we're trying to figure out 
which shirt we're wearing. We want to do some matching shirts. And actually, it looks like our food is here. Let's take a look. Take a look at the bison burger here with those waffle fries. Looks delicious. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Great flavor. Just it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Wow. Cheese, the onion, everything about it. Love it. Overall, everyone loves their bison burger. A lot of us had the, uh, the bison burger and we love it. The waffle fries, equally amazing. I mean, this food is so good and the quality you get for the price you get is fantastic. And while you're eating, you have this unbelievable view behind me and that, that's the moon and the moon's reflection right there. I mean, view, service, food, quality, price. Can't beat it. I can't tell you how much we all loved Kaiser Point. We all had a delicious meal, felt great in the atmosphere, the service, everything about it was spectacular. We hope to come back again in the future. It was that good. What's nice is it's getting cooler out. Originally, we were thinking about going to the Yacht Beach Club and walking around the boardwalk a little bit, but we decided to go back to the Caribbean Beach Resort just to relax a little bit, get packed up for the first ever Disney Cruise, which starts tomorrow. I know, hard to believe. It starts tomorrow, so we're gonna get packed up for that and be set to go. So I just looked it up to get a list Lift. This time at night it would be $17.66 for all of us together. A minivan costs $20. I want to take the upgrade and try the minivan with you. So we asked at the front desk and unfortunately the minivans are only available to those guests who are staying in the select resorts like the Boardwalk, the Beach Club, the Yacht Club and Wilderness Lodge and a couple others I think. And they're not available for guests who are visiting these resorts. Doesn't really make much sense to me, but I guess we'll be taking an Uber or a Lyft back to Caribbean Beach. David, we gotta go to Whispering Canyon. Sounds like a hopeful name. <laughs> but what name would you give it? I think Screaming or Yelling Canyon is probably more cool. Baby. And Steve will be here in two minutes in a Land Rover LR3. That should be exciting. Take a look at this Land Rover here, perfect for us. And we made it back to the Caribbean Beach Resort. Steve had a really cool car, the Land Rover. I've never been in a Land Rover using Lyft before, so it was so convenient. Family loved it. It's about 8.15 now, so we're back. We're gonna relax, we're gonna pack a little bit for the cruise, because we're really excited about that and we really don't know what to expect. So we're gonna pack everything up, get ready for an early morning tomorrow morning. I might be thinking, Michael, it's 8.15 at night. How can you be comfortable walking back to the resort at 8.15 at night? Well, I'm with family and I'm really excited about the Disney Cruise. And this is a vacation for all of us, not just for me, it's for all of us. So it's going to be a lot of fun, I know it will. And even though, yes, I'd love to be at Epcot or Magic Kingdom right now, seeing the fireworks, I'm having a great time with family. And of course at 8.15, I'm not just ending the night, I'm gonna drop a few things off and explore Caribbean Beach a little bit more. As you can see, I have switched into sandals here. So I'm ready to walk barefoot on the beach in preparation for Castaway Key. Oh my god. You're gonna get to go on, it's into the park, so this is your ride. This is my ride, okay, Whee! got it, whoa. Stop, 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 stop. And this is where I will leave you for tonight. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun to share all of the adventure with you. Until tomorrow, which is the first day of our cruise adventure, have a magical night.